afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's having a great and wonderful day out there. Today, I'm going to talk about a few different subjects, uh, but our Bible study today is something I would like for y'all to do as you go forward through the week is uh, commandments and sin. Sins and commandments, you know. When we're, as Christians, people in the world, secular people, non-believers, look at us in a certain way. You know, they think that we think we're perfect or this, that, and the other, you know. We need to be aware of how the world sees us and how they perceive Christianity because those issues are very real to our faith. You know, there's a lot of people that believe that you can't have fun as a Christian. That everything is a rule, a law, a sin. You're going to be condemned. You're going to go to hell. This, that, and the other. And it's crucial that we tell people and help them understand <clears throat> that the rules that the Lord has put in place were put there and installed there to help us live a better, more fulfilled, happier life. To uh, remove the chains of sin. To free us from our slavery as sinners. There's so much more fulfillment in life as a Christian than I ever had before. I look at my life before and honestly y'all it's like a nightmare at times and I, you know I wish I wouldn't have done a lot of things that I did do and seen a lot of things that I did see but you know ultimately there's nothing that I can do to change those things as such as forgiveness and give forgiveness and move on because you really can't go back and change the past. Only thing you can do is going forward, try living your best life, being your best person, but do it for God. Do it for the Son. Do it for the Holy Spirit. You know, you have a purpose in this world, and that purpose is to help others find salvation so that they can come and spend eternity in heaven with us you know because that's that's the goal we want to spend eternity in paradise with our lord and savior you know even if it's just a tent right inside the gate i'm going to be extremely thankful to be there because there's only two choices ladies and gentlemen it's heaven or hell and don't let nobody convince you otherwise because the devil is a deceiver and he wants to bring us all down. And I don't want him to bring y'all or anybody else down. I want us all to work together and to find a way to uh, save as many precious souls as we can. You know, this last week at church, we had two children come down and dedicate their lives to the Lord. And it's a beautiful thing to be part of a church that is still vibrant and able to carry the word and save souls. That's the name of the game. That's what we're here for. We're not supposed to be sitting down and being comfortable in our social club. We're supposed to be doing the Lord's work. And uh, as such, being aware of how other people perceive our faith is something we all should be. Like, there's so many denominations one of them's got to fit you you know i'm not saying they're all correct far from it but none of us are perfect and all of us have fallen short of the glory of god we've all sinned and we are weak and the only way that we can do better is through the lord jesus and through his power now our church we have a lot of music and i'm not particularly musically oriented i could be happy without hearing another tune the rest of my life it just don't mean that much to me however 
99% of other people love music and we have guitars and pianos and everything going on we have great singing and that really brings people together we have a large youth group for our area of the world and they're very active and they're very happy and we're very proud to have them and we do a lot of functions they get together and they eat a lot i'm really proud of the way our church does now are there things we could do better i'm sure i'm sure there's always stuff that we can do better but you need to be part of your local church and help be the outreach to the community to reach those lost souls now we need to find a way every day every week set yourself some goals of how to reach people how to teach people and you don't have to go around and beat them on the head with a bible and tell them they got to do everything 100 percent by the rules all the time because nobody's going to be able to do that that's why the lord jesus had to die on the cross for our sins because nobody was perfect enough to follow the law seven days a week 306 i mean 365 days a year it's just not humanly possible to follow the law to the letter your whole life you know we had to have the blood sacrifice and that was what our Lord did for us. We put him up there because of the way we're living, because of our original sin. We were created to be God's friends. He calls us his friends. And that is something that I hold on to each and every day because the creator of everything you see is our friend. He wants the best for us because that's what real friends do. Real friends want the best for you real friends want to see you succeed and the creator of everything is your friend he calls you friend and we don't serve because we have to we don't obey because we have to we serve and we obey because we want to we long to help others we long to make god happy that's why i serve and that's why i hope you all serve too and to make God happy is the most noble goal you could have. And then when you see the look in somebody's face, when you do get a chance to help somebody, you don't have to be like these guys on YouTube that go out there and say, hey man, if you let me record you, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or 10,000 bucks. You don't have to be that person. God sees everything. You can give it in the darkness. You can give it in the closet. You can pray anywhere at any time. You can give anywhere at any time. You shouldn't be worried about getting the notoriety this side of heaven. Because the notoriety that you're going to receive when you get to heaven, that's all you need to worry about. Store up your treasures where moth and rust do not corrupt. Because up there, what we get is what we'll have for eternity. Your happiness, your making the Lord's happiness saving souls from hellfire and damnation you know there's so many different opinions about the rapture and about this and that but ultimately what you need to do is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ him being we oh man I'm, I'm, I'm tongue tied his, I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. I tell you, I don't know. His resurrection, believe in our Father in heaven with all of your heart and soul. Love them with all of your heart and soul. Ask the Lord to come and live inside you. Try to live a better life. You will want to do the work. Don't worry about the work. Don't worry about being perfect at first. Just be with Jesus. And Jesus will lead you and guide you as you move forward. But believe and repent of your sins. And let Him help you. Because look, I smoked, I drank, I've done pills, I've done a lot of things. 
and God has brought me through those and those experiences made me who I am today and helped me relate to others that are having those problems and those issues look I have fought with many people I've seen men bleed I've seen a lot of things in this old world and it will knock you down and keep you down if you let it but with the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ with the strength of God and the Holy Spirit nothing can stop you nothing can hold you back and you can have fun I mean there's plenty of music and songs there's gatherings and there's plenty of things to eat there's places to go you can still play golf you can still ride four wheelers you can still ride horses you can do everything everybody else can do but you'll do it sober and you'll remember it and you'll have a great time and you'll make great friends that'll give you the very shirt off their back if you ask it i don't know about y'all sorry i had to jump off for just a second I don't know about y'all, but the people that I met and I was around when I was out living in the world would not give you nothing. They would not take care of you. You could not trust them. They were not moral at all. They were not good friends. Now, the people that I know are not perfect, that are Christians, but they do seem to be living a little better doing a little better treating me better than the ones before because you know the, the ones before there as long as you got money and alcohol and whatever else y'all do together you'll have a lot of friends but you let that money and alcohol and whatever else fall through and not have it no more and uh those fair weather friends are gonna disappear they're gonna be gone and you're not gonna know what happened to them except the fact that they showed their true colors so please while you're going through your week next week i would like for y'all to think of ways to show how we have a real fulfilled life as christians now i'm going to move on to things they need to uh, make a living I mean the the effects of what could happen over the next few weeks could radiate and be historical I mean they will be talking about it for many 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 years to come if these things keep going in the path that they're going with yellow the UPS just and there's the fed now i think's fixing to start opening there's just so much going on i really would like for y'all to sit down and pray fervently for our country pray for peace in the world where russia and ukraine get their stuff together and they stop trying to kill everybody i just want everybody to stop killing each other and try to get along there's no reason there's plenty of room there's plenty of supplies for everybody if we could just find a way to get along and work together the world would be a better place there's <laughs> I've, I've done a pretty good bit of research there's plenty of room there's plenty of work we just have to have the motivation and the incentives to go to work every day to provide for not only ourselves and our family but for the rest of the world you know that's what we do we serve the world while we're out here in these trucks and when we're out here making products and selling products we're serving the world we're not only serving 
ourselves and our families, but we're serving the world. And the more we incentivize each other to go to work and to provide for everybody else, the better. So we have a lot coming down on us. And I try not to uh, get into those individual topics too much. Just like the railroad strikes and all that. Our, our economy is way more sensitive than the powers that be want you to know. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Is I'm going to ask you to pray for our country. Pray for peace and pray for prosperity. Because whenever all the economy, all the other companies and people out there are successful, that's going to make the chances of me being successful even greater. If you're working for a company, even if you think they're a really bad company, pray for them and pray for their management. Pray for our president, even though a lot of us don't care for him. Pray for him because as the country succeeds and as your company succeeds, the better you're going to do. I really am worried about the people that may have to go on strike worried about the people that may lose their jobs there's artificial intelligence that's coming around that's taking a lot of jobs already i heard a guy say he fired his lawyer because he punched in some stuff to chat gpt and it told him basically what his lawyer told him when he called the lawyer so he's not using his lawyer no more unless he has to go to court the lawyer there's a lot of people that are going to lose their jobs to artificial intelligence and all these things are coming to a head and it's a really wonderful time to be alive to watch it all and but you know it can be scary if you go down too many rabbit holes and if you listen to any too many fear mongers and that's one reason why I don't try to do that on this channel you know weather modification cloud seeding and <laughs> you know the, the, the pokey there's so much negative stuff out there. I try to keep it coming from a positive and upbeat area. But it's really hard now, especially over the last year as my business has been in turmoil. It's been hard to keep going in a positive direction and to not go down those rabbit holes. But I will continue on. I'm not going to stop the YouTube channel. I'm going to keep on going as long as I can until they ban me or you know i die whatever comes first we're going to keep on working with it we're going to keep on trying to provide y'all with as much information as we can to uh hopefully help y'all through y'all's daily walks and to help y'all help y'all i mean save some souls and to uh, reach some people that need to be reached because there's so many for the, the their the harvest is truly great and the laborers are few but when don't let the stuff that's going on in this world bring you too far down because what we got waiting on us is so much better it's so much greater than anything the world could provide even if we were told we were going to live thousands and thousands of years on this planet with everything we ever wanted still not enough because eternity in heaven serving our father being with our father our friend with everything that we could want because that's what heaven is there's there's no comparison even if it was 10 20 thousand years that's still only a teeny tiny drop in the bucket of eternity that's what I don't understand about the people that sell them souls. This is just a tiny, tiny time period. And if the devil is truly buying your soul, that should tell you that there is a God and he loves you. And the devil hates you because he's trying to take you away from the God for such a small price. You know? Even if you gain control of this entire world for thousands and thousands of years and you did all the great things because only you you would only do great things, right? That's what everybody thinks. They would only do great things for the people. But ultimate power corrupts ultimately. Anyway, that's all for today. I have rambled enough. 
I hope y'all have a great day and a wonderful week. Very prosperous and safe. God bless each and every one of you far and beyond your wildest dreams. And I will catch you on the next ride.